This is Express Sewer and Drain. I'm at 11419 Treasure Hill Court in Gold River, California. I'm zero feet, zero inches above a cast iron riser enclosed by a 12 inch Carson box. I'm gonna go ahead and head downstream. We have a four inch cast iron clean out with a bridge in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and head downstream toward the main line. Get you to flush a toilet. Oh shit. So transition from the cast iron is 4 inch ABS. Uh, the white scaling is just uh, build up uh, of sludge in the line. We went ahead and had him flush the toilet and make sure that we got a good grade and that there's no bellies in the line. Water seems to be flowing down really good. Looking for offsets in the pipe, root intrusion and or fractures or breaks. So it looks like we're coming up on a joint right here at about 22 feet. Looks good. All ABS material. Coming up to another transition here. Got a little bit of build up here at the very end on the top side. Uh, that might need to be hydro jetted. So that's maybe about a good quarter inch on the top end. So at 42 feet, uh, we're actually at the end of the line. 42 feet, one inch. Everything is clear from this point on. And that's now going to be the city of uh, Sacramento. Homeowner is not responsible for anything past this point. We're going to go ahead and head back upstream toward the house and see the uh, condition of the line going back in. Back in towards the house. The bridge is stopping it up. So this is the uh, part of the cast iron clean out. There's a little bit of build up in this. So uh, once again, four inch sewer, you can see the sludge along the wall. It's got a little bit more sludge buildup coming from the house end uh, versus the downstream. This can be cleaned up with a hydro jet. Um, even sludge can slow down the water flow and or maybe cause a backup uh, with toilet paper. 
In this case, it's not major, but it'd be good to do just for maintenance. What we are looking for is a lot of black pipe. And in this case, I'd say 75% of the sewer line has sludge on it. We're coming up to a band right here, a 45 band. And also this is a connection out of, of Y. So we have a line coming up in the upper left corner. And we have a 45 at 23 feet, two inches. Comes back around. It should go to a roof vent or possibly reduce. Or possibly reduce into an uh, inch and a half or two inch line. Yep, there it is. There's the reducer right here, coming up. Okay, there it is. The end of the line, it reduces down to a two inch. That's the end of the video inspection. The sewer looks good, this needs to be clean maintenance. That's it. All that white film can be hydro jetted. It's oscillating ball bearing. It goes, got a back sprayer basically rotating it. It's going through the pipe, cleaning out all that white buildup. All in all, it's not major. It would just depend on the person who's buying the home if they want to do it. It's not going to be required. We're not going to put it down that it's required. Okay. But it is, uh, it is something that, you know, it's just maintenance basically. It's like doing the oil change on the car. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do it until you're ready to, or you, most some people don't do it at all until, you know, 10,000. They should do it every five, but they do it when they want, right? Like a car, huh? Yeah, same thing. I mean, they don't have to do it, but if they choose to do it, yeah. that's okay. And then the only other thing that we would probably recommend is this cast iron clean out. It's actually in pretty good condition, but they do rust out. Mm -hmm. So uh, you may not be having issues now, but eventually it will uh, cause a backup from the toilet paper. Yeah, we've never